We know that COVID-19 is a serious threat. At this time, over 110 million cases have occurred worldwide. That's 2.4 million deaths that's attributable to COVID-19. This is a highly infectious virus. It produces not just hospitalizations, not just deaths, but for many, many people who recover from COVID-19, they do not go back to their normal state of health. There are things called post-infection syndromes, syndromes that leave them with chronic pain, chronic aches, chronic joint pain. A number of people have the sense of just not being able to think as clearly as they used to be able to think, something called brain fog. All of these things, hospitalizations, death, reinfection, post-infectious syndromes can be prevented by a vaccine. What about the vaccine? In contrast to the devastation that COVID-19 has produced as a virus, what does the vaccine give you? Remember, the vaccine is not alive. It will not make you sick. It doesn't give you COVID-19 and it does not make you contagious. What it does do, of course, is it stimulates your immune response to build antibodies. This stimulation of your immune response is often felt like a mild cold or flu syndrome. It is common for people to have fatigue or headaches, muscles aches, chills, fevers, joint pain, sometimes even nausea that happens for a brief period of time, usually one day, sometimes two, maybe even three days, and then it's gone. You might ask, well, how many people feel these symptoms? If you take a look at the clinical trials for Pfizer and Moderna, you'll notice that in the vaccine group, about 55 to 60% of people had one of these symptoms after their first dose. So they might've had some fatigue, they might've had headaches, a little bit of chills or fever. And for the second dose, it's 70 to 80%, so much higher. And that's because after the second dose, your body appropriately recognizes the vaccine and is actually being able to mount a faster response. What's really interesting about these clinical trials is if you look at the placebo group, remember there's that group that got an injection in the arm of saline. If you talk to that group, 45 to 50% of those people complained of a symptom, a little fatigue, headache, muscle aches, joint pain, fever. And that's because it's human nature that we generally feel something. We're generally tired. Some of us have headaches. And so in general, the difference between the, the symptoms that you get directly from the vaccine are actually quite mild. And very few people actually end up needing to take a day off from work. What about allergies? Are your allergies a risk for the vaccine? Remember that the human body has allergies to very specific things. So for example, if you're allergic to peanuts, you're not necessarily allergic to peaches. So it's really important that you know that the only allergy that will prevent you from getting the vaccine is a serious allergy to the vaccine itself. Remember that this particular vaccine is not made in chicken eggs like some of the flu vaccines. So there's no risk for egg allergic people. In addition, we're getting better and better numbers on the very rare effect of having a serious allergic reaction. We now know that the risk of serious allergy or anaphylaxis is less than five people per 1 million vaccinated. That is an incredibly rare event. Of course, if you have a tendency for severe allergies to multiple things, it's important that you do discuss your situation with your allergist. You do want to stay in the observation area for 30 minutes instead of 15 minutes, which everybody is asked to wait. And remember that all vaccine areas have emergency allergy medications available, and they know absolutely how to take care of serious allergies.